Each original idea is a shard from the transfinite ideal metaform. Every thought is attacked from all sides by countless alternative perspectives. All emotions occur simultaneously as scalar wavelengths in a planar field. Postulate. If the functions of psi, ESP potential, are graphed onto geometric forms as diagrammatic lattices, then their sum yields multidimensional results. Formula. If idea is mapped onto the corner points of a metaform object and thought is mapped onto the edges of same and emotion onto the faces of same, then patterns form. Thus, a tetrahedron equals four ideas, four thoughts, and four emotions. An octahedron equals six ideas, twelve thoughts, and eight emotions. A cube equals eight ideas, twelve thoughts, and six emotions. An isosahedron equals twelve ideas, thirty thoughts, and twenty emotions. A dodecahedron equals twenty ideas, thirty thoughts, and twelve emotions. These patterns also occur in non-third dimensional forms as well. Explication The combination of all actual motions of all metaforms made of psi energy moving amidst and often through one another amounts to the experience of this limitless energy field as our own mental egos. Our own neural networks are only sieves filtering out static and rendering more exact psi energy, temporal ellipses in their wake. The combination of all possible metaforms of psi and all their possible trajectories provides the inductive cosmological set and deduction reduces this from infinitude to an apprehensible scale. The result is the perception of psi energy in phases within the singularity well of ego as ideas, thoughts, and emotions. There are various ways to define what constitutes an ideal form in any dimension. For example, if one begins with the zero dimension of one corner point and proceeds next to the two types of one dimensional extension of such a point, the straight line and the semicircular arc, However, these lower dimensions are not usually included in the list of ideal forms, which begins, most commonly, with two-dimensional planar faces in the form of the three regular polygons, triangle, square, and pentagon. However, the circle, comprised of a single completed arc, can also be counted as a shape at this stage, as the sphere can be in three dimensions, although it is usually excluded. In three dimensions, the ideal forms are the regular polyhedra, the tetrahedron or simplex of four triangles, the octahedron or orthoplex of eight triangles, the cube or hexahedron of six squares, the isosahedron of 20 triangles and the dodecahedron of 12 pentagons. In four space these have corresponding geometrical forms as well. There are six four space 
regular polytopes, the five cell hypertetrahedron, the eight cell tesseract, the sixteen cell hyperoctahedron, the twenty four cell self dual, the one hundred and twenty cell four D isosahedron, and the six hundred cell for dodecahedron. The circle and sphere also have a correspondent fourth spatial dimensional form, the torus or hypersphere. In all dimensions greater than four, only three types of metaform ideal shapes exist. These are extensions of patterns formed in the first three 3D solids, the simplex, hypertetrahedron, the orthoplex, hyperisosahedron, and the tesseract, hypercube. Therefore, in the five extraspatial dimensions from the fifth through the tenth dimension, there are only 15 ideal forms. To assemble the five ideal forms in three dimensions, and do so each one at a time, one would only need as many components corners, edges, and faces as the largest, most complex of the solid forms in three dimensions, this being the dodecahedron of 20 corners, 30 edges, and 12 pentagonal faces. In four dimensions, the 600 cell of 120 corners, 720 edges, 1,200 faces, and 600 solid shapes. However, if you wanted to assemble all of the solids in all of the dimensions simultaneously, one would require 190 components, 50 corners, 90 edges, and 50 faces in three dimensions, and 49,990 elements, 773 corners, 1,362 edges, 2,082 faces, and 773 solid cells in four dimensions. Thus, for all the ideal forms in both three and four spatial dimensions to be all assembled one next to the other in a line would require 5,180 parts, 823 corners, 1,452 edges, 2,132 faces, 773 solid cell shapes. The total of all these parts assembled into shapes along this line, however, is only 11 ideal forms in the third and fourth dimensions, excluding the sphere and torus. To assemble the 15 ideal forms in the 5th through the 10th spatial dimensions, and to do so each one at a time, one would only need as many components, corners, edges, and faces as the largest, most complex of the metaforms. In 10 dimensions, this being the hypercube of 59,048 components. However, if you wanted to assemble all of these metasolids in all of the dimensions from 5 through 10 simultaneously, one would require a total of 4,020 components for the simplex model, the hypertetrahedron, 88,446 components for the tesseract model, the hypercube, and 88,000 446 components alike for the orthoplex or cross polytope, the hyperoctahedron. This means to assemble these 15 shapes altogether would require a total of 180,912 components to complete. To assemble one each of the 26 ideal forms in the first 10 dimensions one would therefore need 186,092 components.